welcome to this FCPX tutorial. In this FCPX tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blur part of your screen um, or blur part of a video clip or image clip, whatever it is you're using, within FCPX. It's quite easy to do. So let me give you an example. I want to blur this character right here on the left-hand side while I want to leave this character showing. And you could use it for, for various things. You can blend it in or blend it out, you know, so it, you can blur um, something to keep it hidden and then reveal it later, like a big reveal. Or you might want to blur your um, doing a video on something and something you want to keep secret or you, you don't want to, to show the public. So you, you blur that part as well. And it's quite easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. In my um, timeline down here, I've just got a um, just just a film strip of two images that I've put together, two 3D characters, and I've made it a minute long. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy or duplicate this um, this film strip that we've got. Now, there is a way that you can do it. You can highlight it, press Command C, Command V, and then that will give you two film strips, and you can drag it on top of each other. But that's not the best way. So I'm just going to press Command Z or Command Z to undo that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to press my um, option button or my alt button on my keyboard and I'm gonna left click and drag this timeline right above itself like so and that's the simplest way to um, to sort of duplicate or copy a, um, a, a something that's in your timeline so just highlight it left um, alt or option button and left click while you've got the button pressed and drag the timeline up to the top now what we're gonna need to do we're gonna need to apply an effect um, so, oh, we're going to go to our effects, just press our little effects button right here. And then we're going to go to our blur. Now you could use sort of focus, if I drag this focus you'll see it does. Um, but the best one to use for the, um, for the sort of effect that I want to show you is Gaussian blur. So you can highlight the effect and double click Gaussian blur, drag and drop it like so. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the way you do it and that's the way you, you um, hide or show. Or, or sorry add an effect now another quick thing that I want to do just so you can see the clearness the clear film strip below the Gaussian blur at the top press highlight the one that you want to disable press V and that will disable something in your timeline so we're going to want our inspector now so I'm going to press this little button here on my right hand side and then I'm just going to press V to enable this Gaussian blurred effect um, showing it in my timeline now the only reason it's all goes on blurred look think of it like this this one here is on top of this one if it was the other way around it wouldn't be blurred so this one here is a layer and it's on top of this one that's why it's blurred so we're going to mess around with this effect and we're going to go into our inspector with the top one selected and we're going to get um, this little crop um, tool right here we're going to go to trim and then we're going to move with our if you watch the screen, if you watch the screen up here, you'll see, you'll see it move the blur effect move left. And this is, I'm going to want to cover this guy's face here, this this um, this 3D model's face. So I'm going to drag it, drag it over from the right, like so. And if you get to a part and it stops, what you got to do is go to the numbers here and just continue dragging like so, and it will continue. And then the top. Move it down, move it up or move it down. Um, and likewise with the bottom. So now we've got this guy's face blurred like so. And if we go to our effect, our Gaussian effect, this is where we could sort of blur it in or out with the use of the amount and keyframes. So we've got it really blurred like this. So let's, um, let's, let's hide all of my character. So I'm going to hide all of the character using the crop tools, like so. Just drag that effect down. And then I'm going to go up to my Gaussian blur the amount. And I'm going to place this in my timeline right here. And I'm going to click keyframe. And I'm going to then move along to 10 seconds in my timeline. And I am going to fade out that blur, like so. So now if I play along in my timeline... You will see the effect is there and over the course of that 10 second period where I have keyframed the effect blur wears away and once you've sort of finished with that blur unless you want to apply it again let me just show you how to apply it again so I've just 
selected the place in my timeline like so and I'm going to click my little plus button to add the keyframe I'm going to drag up to the 20 second part I'm going to drag the amount up and so now we're blurred so now we will blur out over a 10 second period so the blur will fade away and reveal the character I want to blur back in over that 20 second period and it blurs back in like so so once you've finished with the effect what you could do in essence you could drag grab the end of the film strip and just drag it down like so because you no longer want to use it but just remember then that effect will go away so if you want to keep the effect in place then you're going to need to keep the the, um, the timeline in place as well so it's really simple really nice and easy and um, but it's an effective tool and a tool that um, that I think people struggle with this they struggle on on how to do um, or struggle with with how they would apply this so hope this helps you out and I'll um, I'll catch you all again soon. Bye.